Mm. Hey guys, it's Carly McDot. I hope you're having a great day. Some of you may remember me from last year. I was actually one of the lucky few chosen to be a Los Angeles Marathon ambassador. And this year I am actually on to the second round Whoopee! of the Conquer Endurance uh, Group Ambassadorship. So I am crossing my fingers that this little application slash audition gets me um, in good with you all. But um, just in case it doesn't, I do want to wish you guys the best of luck finding the perfect fit for um, you all and for the races because I know it is um, super important to have um, a meld of some great runners, some great folks for social media um, and folks that are going to be able to really rally behind the races, the causes, um, and really just promote the um, crap out of them all. So um, without further ado, I wanted to answer um, the questions that were posed to us um, in this second round. So the first one was try to explain the runner's high to a non-runner. Um, so I wanted to start off by saying a runner's high is not a frequent thing, at least in my um, experience. I've been running for about four years um, and I can count probably on my two hands um, the number of times that I've felt that runner's high per se. Um, it really um, is amazing though. It is like you are no longer running or I mean... Obviously, you're still running, but um, you're not feeling like you're running. You're feeling like you're flying. Um, it's it's just so awesome, um, and I wish that it was an everyday thing, but hey, the bad runs um, make the good runs feel even better, um, but I do think that a runner's high is um, really awesome. It's just when your endorphins kick in, you're super stoked on life, you feel like you can run forever, um, nothing bad is going um, on in your run, you're hydrating great, you're fueling great, you're feeling great, your legs are super light, they feel fast, even if the time on your watch doesn't necessarily reflect that, but um, it's totally just a feeling. Um, and it's something that makes you want to run forever. Um, and guess what? A runner's high is still legal in all 50 states. Woohoo! So get out there and run! Um, the second um, question that was posed to us was um, our biggest piece of advice for someone tackling their first marathon. Um, so I have a couple pieces of advice for somebody tackling their first marathon. Especially because I was somebody who said that they never wanted to run one. Um, I think it is super, super, super important that you find a reason to want to run one. Um, the training for a full marathon is intense. Um, and if you're not willing to put in the work for the training, your marathon experience will be subpar. Um, even if you run great, you feel great, um, It it's not super awesome. So I would definitely make sure that you find a reason to run, whether that's um, for a new challenge, because you're running for a charity, um, you're running for somebody else, uh, you wanna tackle something on your bucket list, whatever it may be, I would highly recommend before you even start um, thinking about a, your first marathon that you really focus on the reason behind it. Um, that way when the training gets hard, you're running in the heat or in the dark or um, you're having to back out of plans because of your long runs, whatever the case may be, um, you just have to find something that's near and dear to your heart that makes you want to continue doing that training so that your uh, first marathon will be amazing. Um, another piece of advice, I know that you only asked for one, but I just have a couple. Um, sorry, hope that's okay. Um, my other piece of advice is, well, sorry, um, here, hold on, let me get the dog. Sorry, if I'm distracted, he's, I took his leash off, or his collar off because every time I do a video, he comes in, he wants to know who I'm talking to, um, cause it's kind of weird that I'm just in the corner of our, um, our spare bedroom talking. Um, so I took his collar off so he doesn't jingle, but then he was over there licking his feet, scratching his ear, he's just being annoying. So if I look around, this is why. This is Walt the wiener dog. Isn't he cute? 
Okay, go. Okay, so um, another piece of advice for your first marathon, if that's um, something that you have found something that's near and dear to your heart that you want to train and tackle your first marathon, um, my biggest piece of advice for somebody that has signed up and registered is don't do it for time. Um, this is a huge thing. I know that we all play the comparison game, and it's super hard to not do it, especially in this um, realm of social media where everybody is posting their times and their trainings and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's super hard not to compare or to put a goal in your mind. Um, but honestly, I think that the biggest thing when you're going into your first marathon is just to complete it. Um, if you want to try and tackle a goal, whether it's a sub six hour marathon or sub four or a BQ or whatever it may be, um, that's awesome. But I really would highly suggest to go into your first marathon with no goal time in mind, just going in to finish um, because A, it's a super huge accomplishment and you should be proud of yourself. Um, and B, I found that at least for me, because I went in wanting to just finish, but in the back of my mind, I had a goal time in my head. Um, I was disappointed once I finished and I didn't hit that goal time. Um, so you don't wanna be disappointed after your first full because then it sort of puts a damper on that experience and then you might not wanna do it again. And that would be a bummer because you should come run LA, yay, woohoo! Because the Los Angeles Marathon is so fun. I'm actually trying to talk my husband into running his first full for um in the, for the 2017 um los angeles marathon marathon so cross your fingers that my persuasion works with him um he isn't really a avid runner he runs for me because he loves me and he's so sweet and it's something that we can do together um but i don't know that he's necessarily found a reason to run other than um, maybe it's a challenge that he ish wants to take on um, so hopefully we'll see um, if I can talk him into it and then we'll be training together for it um, wouldn't that be great Yay! okay sorry um, on to the final part of the audition um, it is a impression I saw this and I was so worried because I don't know last year when we were applying for the Los Angeles Marathon Ambassador Program, we had to sing a song and I felt so silly doing it. Um, but this one I felt, I feel even stranger because I don't really do impressions. Um, and I wasn't sure what to do for it. Um, so I was thinking, I have this sort of corny joke. Okay, I think it's really fun. Um, and it's clean and it's family humor, but um, I get sort of made fun of by some friends because it's kind of dorky. Um, but the joke actually makes me be, do an impression in it, so I thought maybe that would be perfect for this. So let's see. Okay, what's a favorite, what, I'm sorry, what's a pirate's favorite letter? And this is where you say R. You think it's the R, but it's the C. See, I can play a pretty good pirate, right? So you should totally pick me. That would be super, right? Okay, well again, like I stated at the beginning, my name's Carly McDot. It's actually Carly Padot McClurg, um, but I combined the Mick from McClurg and Dot from Padot to make McDot. I actually tried talking my husband into um, combining our last names when we were getting married. He wasn't too into it. He thought it reminded of him of McDonald's, um, but I still use it for all of my social media accounts. Anywho, um, I just want to wish you guys the best of luck finding um, the perfect team for the um, Conquer Endurance Group Ambassador program. It looks like an awesome experience. Um, if I'm not the the perfect fit for you guys, I totally understand. No hard feelings. I'd still love to rock all of those races with you guys. So um, just want to wish you guys the best of luck and hope to hear from you guys soon. Thanks so much.